Hi, and welcome to part five of managing Active Directory with PowerShell. In the last videos, we've seen how to manage users, groups, OUs, and create our Active Directory forest. In this video, we're actually gonna be looking at a new feature that got released with Windows Server 2016. Uh, which is called privileged access management, which lets you do a couple of extra things in Active Directory. The one that we're going to be looking at today is how to enable that feature and then also how to add a uh, user to a group for a specific amount of time. Um, so first to actually get that feature enabled, um, we can actually see what features there are. So if we do get uh, AD optional feature, and then we do a filter and then we do a name dash like, and then privileged, or you just do privy for privileged. And then if we run this here, we will actually see these privileged access management. Uh, for us, the enabled scopes, there aren't any right now and you cannot disable it um, afterwards. So is disable, uh, is disable able, that's a very weird word to write it, um, but it can't be disabled after it's been activated. So once you activate this feature, you cannot turn it off. Uh, so you definitely wanna make sure that you actually do want this on before turning it on. So the way that we will actually turn this on is actually just by doing enable dash AD optional feature. And then we will go ahead and all I'm going to do is actually just copy this right here. And we're going to do so enable dash AD optional feature. And then we are going to put privileged access management feature. And then we are going to do a dash scope. And we are going to do forest or configuration set. And then we are going to do target. Um, and I believe that that should be good. Uh, so let's just run this here. Oh, so we actually probably need to specify the domain in the target actually. So there it is. Uh, so we put our domain that we want to target or our forest that we want to target. And then we get a prompt to confirm. So are we sure that we want to perform the operation of enabled on the target of privileged access management? We are just going to say yes to all here. So it's enabled. So if we do get a D optional feature, we can see that in the enabled scopes is there and we can see um, that we have all of our partitions, our configuration, um, all the other um, options in our domain there. So everything is there. So that should work great. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to add a user to a group for a specific amount of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable just called TTL, um, basically short form for time uh, to live. And we are going to set that to a new dash time span. And we are going to do in minutes here, we're going to do one minute. And then we're going to do a add AD group member. And we're going to do identity. And we're going to do test user one. Oops, this is actually going to be test group because our test group is the only group that's left, I believe. Yep, test group. And then our member is going to be test user one. And our member time to live is going to be our TTL variable. So let's run this here. And it's 202 right now. Um, so let's see what happens. So in our test group, we do see we have our test user there. So that is perfect. And now if we do a get 80 group member on ID. On the identity of test group, we will get all of that. And then if we do a select star, so we're going to pipe that to select star here, we get all the information on that there. So 
we should see this user get removed. So it's still 202. So uh, it just turned 203, but of course it was already like halfway into 202. So I'm gonna let the clock hit 204 and this user should actually be removed here. And there we are. So now if we do the get AD group member, we actually do not see the user come back. It's been automatically removed based on the time to live for one minute. So this is super useful um, if you're in an organization and someone needs uh, a complete like domain admin um, access or, or enterprise admin access or any type of elevated access but you don't want to give it to them forever and you don't want to have to remember to go inside and remove their access later on in the day. You can set a time to live, set it to like a couple hours or however long they actually need for them to do the work that they need to do. And then that access will automatically get removed. You can even script these um, basically to always add like, let's say, your work days are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or something. You can have these script run in the morning, automatically add the access for when that user comes into work, and then it automatically gets removed when that user leaves. Um, there's a lot of different options that you can use with this time to live feature. I mean, with a script, you could easily just add them and then remove them by script. Um, but this time to live is definitely a very useful thing, especially if you have contractors or third party people that you create accounts for that are going to be making some modifications on servers or different things like that. So that is the privileged access management. And what I find one of the most interesting features is adding the group member with the time to live option. Uh, so that's pretty much it. In the next videos, that's where we are going to start building our automated script to manage our groups. Um, so we're going to basically start by creating that XML file of all the different groups and all the different people that belong in those groups. And then we'll have tons of automation to make sure that the groups are created, if not create the groups and then compare who is in the groups and automatically populate them and remove the people that do not need to be in them. So that'll be on the next video. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you on the next video.